So in that same vein, um, we're trying to treat patients early and abrogate disease early. How do the monoclonal antibodies, uh, Peter, fit into that uh, scenario? So I think if you look at all the studies that have been done for monoclonal antibodies, uh, what is really clear is that it really works the best when you give as early as you can. Uh, and in the initial studies, they showed that it was for those mild and moderate disease. Early on, before they end up in the hospital, before they get a lot of lung injury, they're not really on oxygen yet. Uh, and that's really where we need to be focusing because that's when the viral load is still high and it hasn't done as much damage to the body yet because that's when we can suppress it and prevent any, any further damage to the body and really hope to prevent them from progressing to that severe and critical illness. And that's really what the studies have shown is that uh, if you give the monoclonal antibodies early, uh, it, that you can prevent hospitalizations, and now we know that we can prevent death. And so that's really where we need to be focusing on is identifying patients and getting them treatment as soon as possible. A lot of the data is also showing that we can give as post-exposure prophylaxis can also prevent people from either developing symptoms or those that do develop illness, prevent them from getting worse uh, compared to placebo. And so now we have a little bit of change in the treatment paradigm where we can actually give it to people that are at high risk of developing severe disease that haven't actually gotten the disease yet and really try to prevent them from getting worse also. And so those are really the two main populations that we can use the monoclonal antibodies right now. They have studied it for inpatients and those studies ha have had mixed results. The, the first study, the TICO study, showed that bamlanivimab did not actually have any benefit. But there was a study out of the recovery group in the UK that showed that if you give casarivimab and indevimab, and you segregate the patients based off of their seropositivity or seronegativity, that if they're seronegative and they got treated, they actually did have some benefit. And so this is a, a, in a gray area right now for those that are in the hospital of if they actually can be treated with monoclonal antibodies or not.